What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Alex with Team Decree here with uh, Aaron Levy, who made, got 11th place at Knoxville Regional. Place with the 60 card Zodiac Kaiju Paleozoic Frog deck. You know, wow. it's, it's, it's not the same deck that you've seen with my uh, previous two tops, but you know what? 11th place, that doesn't matter. What we're really here to talk about is Mr. Alex Lane topping with the 60 card Zodiac Paleozoic Kaiju Frog like deck. So, <laughs> we played the same list, so. Yeah, we played the same main cool. deck going into the event. It was pretty cool. It's pretty awesome, yeah. Hopefully, people will understand that this is, you know, a force to be reckoned with now, so. Yeah, especially once the new format hits. So. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the deck. What okay. we got here? Uh, shout outs to uh, Marowak Break for being Break. My, my center field all day. That's a Pokemon card. Yeah, so. in, the, uh, in the, the best tokens ever. Alright, that's a pretty cool token. That's a pretty cool token. Batman, Superman. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Anywho. Better than So. Let's start off. Monsters uh, play three Swap Frog. Oh, beautiful. Obviously. Play two Dupe Frog and two Runner Toad. Best ratio. Best ratio. Um, these just suck, honestly, in hand, so you don't want to draw them ever. That's true. I would rather have Dupe than Ronin, but I would also <laughs> rather not have three Dupe Frogs in my deck. You uh, have to have two Ronins because if you banish one off of uh, Desires, it's over. But yeah, I agree with that. Then we played the zoo lineup. We played two rat, two thoroughblade. Played three whiptail. Three whiptail, yeah. Yeah. The one ulti is pretty. Yeah. yeah. Whiptail is actually just the best. Yeah. Like, just the best zodiac monster in our And we only played one ram ram. Uh, it kind of, it's booty right now. It's not, it's not that great. You it's not what it used to be. You certainly don't want it in hand. Um, I don't think I ever drew it. Did you ever draw it? I, I think I drew it once and I made a dry it immediately with it. Yeah. Dried it Hammer Kong. Which is fine. Yeah. Uh, if you draw it going first, it's not bad. Especially in this deck, since it's 60 cards, you'll probably draw one monster anyways. Right. And then uh, Kaiju Engine played... I played one Game of Seal. I played two Kamongus. Uh, you played two Game of Seal, right? Two Game of Seal, yeah. Um, the reason I played two Kamongus is because uh, off of Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, um, if I already had, if I had already used one of this, or if I had milled it, or got for just something I wanted one in deck, so I could summon it to my field, and if I had for the option to make the Mrs. Radiant right off, right off the bat. and then uh, the big dude, big dude. Um, and then one Maxi Elf, obviously. The common draws, you wouldn't believe that. Is that also, common? When did we a get common. a common Maxi? That's pretty. Dumb. In the the one of the structure decks. All right, these people don't want to hear that. All right, so we're good on the monsters. Good on the monsters. That's a beautiful monster lineup. Yes, it is. Um, the best spell cards in the game. Three best spell cards in the game, three best spell cards in the game, three best spell cards in the game. Yep, three desires. Two best spell cards in the game. That card is actually just OP. The guard, the guard card right here. Yep, and then greener uh, grass is it, like <laughs> a lot of people uh, hate that card with a passion. Everyone it, hates it's, this card. It's absolutely fair in this deck. We are not playing a Minerva deck where you special summon six monsters and have a snow engrave. Right. We are dumping a bunch of trap cards like... <laughs> People uh, like uh, are overreacting when we play grass on them. I agree. Um, I, how many did you mill off of grass? Well, like the most I milled off of grass was thirty because I played against a light sworn player. Same. Uh, well, I, I was playing against Zoo and I went second and I opened this. So Beautiful. Mill thirty. That was he went on tilt after that. Uh, Paleozoic lineup. We played three Can Canadia. He's um, so good. Let's two. talk about Canadia for a Let's second. Let's talk about Canadia. Okay, Canadia is really good now compared to the rest of the events that we've been playing him at because if you lock a monster down into the extra deck monster zone you are ending their turn so they, they really can't do anything else if you put say hammer prong face down as soon as they summon it you know they can't barrage and summon another zoo yeah, exactly. you know they're done they, they have to stop so Canadia is actually really really good now it's not like he's been bad before but you know he's just uh, just like kind of mandatory three up right now in this deck right um two dynamiscus so this good. is pretty good. Uh, <laughs> two MST Olenoids. And How do you two, feel about two Olenoids? I wanted three, dude. Really? Even, even though we're we're playing something else. Like, yeah, well, we're playing something else. We'll get to that soon. But I, he's a paleo. I he's a like, name. I feel like other. I, I feel like I wanted one more paleo. Um, for some reason. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you the one I wish I had more of was yeah. Morella up there. That's fair. Um, I, I also thought about the. The one that uh, I think Lee and Cholia that brings back yeah, a, the a banished, banished one. Yeah, that's pretty just cool. Just to have like some sort of option. You um, may see that in the future, depending yeah, on what the list does to our deck. That's a possibility. 
But, uh, but yeah, it, I thought it was pretty good. It, it, it worked out. Uh, we played three D-Barrier. That's, like, the best card it's against the really meta. good. Uh, three best card in the game. Best that card in the game. Unreal best card. card in the game. Holy man. I lost one to somebody five five times in one game. <laughs> that was really stupid. I mean, it, I mean, yeah, I milled them all. The, there is nothing like playing your cards more than once, and Lost yeah. One is the best at doing that. Uh, three Mirror Force because Battle Traps are OP. Was right it really now. good? Yeah, Did it you really like good. it? Okay. I, uh, I set two, and dude uh, was scared of the Mirror Force, and he was like Cosmic Cyclone, and he hit the Mirror Force, so and he, he was, was like, oh, attack. sweet, and he attacked into a Mirror Force. So. Okay, you see, I set two, and they both got backseated by Blair's shout out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Uh, did Did you wish it was any different kind of mirror force? Or um, mirror force? Okay. I would. I would probably play like at least one storm mirror force. I like this one. This one's really good, just because it gets it gets them into the graveyard. You know, like they can't use them again. But against like world chalice and like other things like that, uh, storm mirror force is it would be pretty good. That. I also, also found that this got PNS mode a lot. So. Yeah, that and uh, this got my bodied once. Yeah. So like storm mirror force can't get my body, obviously. That's true. So. Uh, and then play three heavy storm duster. Yep, this is, is the best new secretly card. Secretly OP. Um, use it as a dust tornado. <laughs> use it as a choin twister. Yeah. Beat um, the shit out of chain burn. <laughs> you know. Two Xyz reborn. Good. That's so good. To uh, Xyz reborn your toad during the draw phase, and then get the effect during the standby yep. phase. And then he's ready to negate. And then he's ready to negate everything. Um, we we'll play two strike. Um, we, I don't I, think I, we opened it or played it at all. Did we? Uh, Did you play it? No, I played it quite a bit. Okay, I, I actually saw strike zero times the entire tournament. Yeah, I, uh, I liked it. It was good. Um, one, one of those breakthrough skills. So good. Flaygate Trapple and uh, Ziat combo. Flaygate Trapple is extremely mad. underwhelming. Yeah. Um, probably gonna come out. Yeah. Um, but breakthrough skill, uh, got me there a couple Com times. Combo's pretty good. If you combo's don't really, really, really good. So that was sixty card. Main deck. Yep, sixty full cards. Now to do the side deck or the the extra deck. Uh, played two totally awesome and one anomalous. Oh boy. Um, this card, no, like hardly anybody when I summoned it knew what it did or that it was unaffected by monster effects. Mine tried to get snowed. Like people try to. He, nobody, nobody knows what Paleozoic cards. Yeah, like yet. somebody attacked into this with a Dryden. And I was like, okay, it dies. And he goes, okay, <laughs> we'll tell effect advantage. I was like, unaffected by monster, monster. effects. Oh my goodness. Me. That's beautiful. He was like, oh. Um, and then you played yourself. Zodiac lineup played two Dryden, two Broad Bowl, two Shock and Nine, two Tiger Mortar, uh, one Borbo, and one Hammercon. Um, really solid Zodiac. Yeah, it's just, I mean. You just combo it back. I would probably back. play more Drydens, or I honestly want to play a second one of this, but I could, I didn't have the room. Okay, um, not just, a second Hammer Kong? No, because I'm, I'm like trolly like that, where I want to attack for game. Attack for game with it, yeah, I, I feel to. the same way. Um, I got this back in my extra deck more times than I could count anyway, so. Fair. Um, and then, Bujente Kagasuchi. Woo! So in that big combo where you can make a rank four with the, the, the zoo stuff, um, you make this, and then you mill five cards, and you usually mill a Lost Wind or something like that. Not as good as the Tsukiyomi combo that we were doing, but it, we still wanted to not. keep him in there because he is such a good card just leaving it on the field. I, no I noticed watching one of your games, he was getting a lot of value because he had to yeah. get attacked through like three times. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that did happen. Uh, it, but, like, honestly, in, if... I would have made another rank for it. Okay. Like, the only other option was probably Dweller, and it wouldn't have even come up this way. Yeah, weekend. Dweller or Tornado Dragon, and I feel like those two are really just kind of lame. So, uh, and then Mrs. Radiant, obviously. Yep. Uh, I had to back yep. Maxi off of this. Somebody attacked over it, and he was, <laughs> and I had to back Maxi off of it, because I milled it off grass. That Beautiful. was fun. That was a lot of fun. So, this weird side deck that I didn't, ex didn't get uh, ready like you did, but... Played one. I actually played a, a oh, Matayon at the event, but I wanted to play this honestly. Okay. Um, so that was a Matayon at the event. The yeah, event, it was the right? Matayon at the event. Uh, I just threw this in here because I had to give it. I had to borrow it. And that so. is Safi on the Time Lord. That is the one that shuffles spells and drops back into the Yeah. Um, really good. Really, really good. Yeah. Uh, and then we played. Bring it back in. We got had a little bit of a technical difficulty. We had Mrs. Radiant. We had Safi on the Time Lord. Yeah, Safi on the Time Lord. That was good. Um, we played a dark hole and two enemy controller. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, 
I don't know. I, I valued the... I, I played three Master Restrictor. I valued, valued the third Master Restrictor over the second Dark Hole. Yeah. So, um, which this actually came up, and this did not... I didn't even see this all day. So. Right. Um, Enemy controller has a really good interaction going second against Zodiac. It does, it, yeah. it doesn't matter if they make the Hammer Kong. You just take the Hammer Kong. Yeah, so. just you you just force it out. Yeah. Um, two anti-spell fragrance, deciding against World Chalice and Pendulums, and I won games because of this stupid card. This thing's good. Um, two Grand Horn of Heaven. That's a really... Um, um, yeah, I sided out the strikes going into time in game three usually, and sided this in. I sided also sided this in against uh, World Chalice, and it just ended their turn basically. Um, I mean, it's just really good, and also going into time, why pay the life points if you don't have to? Um, two Magic Deflector, Draco's, uh, one Imperial Order. Uh, it didn't win me as ga many games as I wanted to, but uh, and then we played the. The Alex special right here is the, the, the grave robber. Joey Wheel is straight <laughs> out. Oh my goodness. Um, I saw it once and I took a guy's enemy controller and that was all fun and dandy. But the idea is to take your barrage and make my play when I don't have a play. So, yeah. It's, it's just it's, an interesting little tech craft. Yeah, really good, cool. going, good going first, good going second, good going against any deck, honestly. It takes yeah. any card. Spells are good right So. Now. So yeah, that was the that was the deck. All right. Do we have any shout outs we want to give? We got shout outs. We got shout outs to Mr. Aaron Levy. Uh, he's the he's now my Sherpa of the Mountain of Greatness, and I uh, I appreciate all the support he's given me and uh, and you know helping me test and theory and all that jazz. Uh, shout outs to the whole chat chat community. Uh, chat community. Shouts to Taylor McCrary, uh, help me or lending me cards. Uh, ben Doman lending me cards. Team Decree, Jacob Jordan, um, uh, Gavin, uh, and uh, Eric. Eric Fish. Eric Fish did well on Sunday in Atlanta, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, appreciate all the support, guys. It was a lot of fun. It's my first stop ever yep. doing anything. Beautiful anywhere, first regional of the season. Any well, anywhere near decent, so. We're very proud of you. Pretty excited, so I appreciate it, guys. All righty. Well, Team Decree. Well, this mm -hmm. is Aaron with Team Decree, I suppose. We Ooh. are out.